In the newly revamped Congressional District 2, this is, includes southern New Mexico. Republican Yvette Harrell is looking to win a second consecutive term. She's being challenged by the Democrat, Gabe Vasquez, the former Las Cruces City Councilor. This district used to cover all of southern New Mexico, but of course, after redistricting, now includes much of southern New Mexico and parts of Albuquerque's South Valley as well as its west side. You see the very latest number now with Vasquez with a six point lead. But again, we caution this is very early in the vote counting in this race. And we have team coverage on this race. Democrats are really hoping to flip. That's right. News 13's Ann Perret is live at Picacho Hills Country Club in Las Cruces with the Herald Camp. Ann? Dean Yvette Harrell won Southern New Mexico's congressional seat two years ago, taking it back from Democrats. Now, the Republican Party has long dominated this district, with Democrats only winning this seat twice in the last 40 years. But redistricting could change that up tonight. We drove new parts of the district, specifically southern and western Albuquerque, and found signs for both candidates peppering the roadways. KRQE's political expert Gabe Sanchez pointing out this brought in more Hispanic voters who are expected to cast their ballots for Harold's Democratic challenger. Harold has attacked Gabe Vasquez, saying he wants to defund the police and cripple the oil and gas industry. He's highlighted her support for Donald Trump. And her refusal to certify the 2020 election results. So I asked Harold, will she accept the results in this race tonight? I mean, win, lose, or draw, you know, we've laid it all on the line. In New Mexico, we trust the uh, opportunities to go to the polls and vote. And we know we have people watching the ballot boxes, watching the different polling locations. And, you know, we're just going to pray hard and work hard, and hopefully we will be victorious on uh, election night. Now, Harrell has had Ted Cruz, Kevin McCarthy, and several local Republican leaders stumping for her these last few weeks. She says she is confident in a win tonight. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Ann. A few miles east in Las Cruces, the Democratic candidate Gay Vasquez is holding a watch party. News 13's Alexis Gineski is live at the Amador Bar and Grill in downtown Las Cruces with that camp. Alexa? Yeah, that's right. Dozens of Gabe Vasquez's friends, families, and supporters are all here enjoying themselves, but no sign of Gabe. We're told from his campaign he's still not here yet. Now, although it's very early in the night, right now Vasquez is holding the lead with a little less than half the votes counted. The former Las Cruces city councilor has been engaged in a tense battle over the past few months, exchanging some heated political ads. You've probably seen them on your TV. Vasquez has been criticized for comments on defunding the police and killing thousands of oil jobs. He stayed focused, he stayed focused on issues like crime and protecting abortion rights in the state. Now, no word, yet, no word yet on when Gabe will be here or if he will be here at all. Back to you. All right, Alexa, thank you.